Hey guys, Dino here, and today is Friday, November 15th, 2013, and, well, yeah, it's been a while since I've made a video, and uh, well, I'll actually be get, uh, get to uploading a previous video that you should have already seen by now, but anyways, today, uh, I've arrived home safely a few hours ago, don't worry about that, and today was a small day, not too much happened other than a few games, uh, for me at least. Uh, a friend of mine bought me a pack, he gave me a few things, like, hey, you, you might need this, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, you could, okay, <laughs> I sold him like $30, but it's okay, <clears throat> anyways, uh, I did some trades, well, more like, um, well, a friend of ours, uh, he, a little tight in cash now, so, well, yeah, yeah well, I'll help you out, I'll, I'll see what I can, might want from the pile of cards you have, so, yeah, I, I traded him some, uh, well, I didn't trade him, I, I, monies, <laughs> I give him monies for the cards, so, and that was really nice too, because, I mean, it's tough being a teacher, you know, well, <laughs> yeah, th that gentleman is actually a teacher, anyways, um, yeah, and since Alberta, and tax cuts, and, uh, not very nice, no, not having a, not having a good time, so I bought a few things for him, so, See, so yeah, first thing I got, and I'm gonna try this new thing out because uh, this camera is really nice and all, but then the problem is that you this, the zoom doesn't automatically do it very well. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this thing. So I'm gonna do it like scans and put it like maybe here or over here or over on my face if I want to. Okay, it's gonna be a new thing. <laughs> uh, and so first thing I got is Temple Bell, which is each player draws a card, which sounds interesting because I want to maybe want to do a deck like where. Hey, anyone wants to have fun here, I'll just let you rock out, I'll let you play more lands, I'll let you do this, and I'll let you do that, and more kind of thing. So, like, maybe even, like, that land trench right in there, um, one from Round Account, you know, the one. Target player adds, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, Helix Pinnacle is very fun because it's, uh, so it's an enchantment. It has Shroud, which is really cool. Shroud, right? So, and it has the ability of X, put X count, tower counters on Helix Pinnacle. And it's green, it's fun, <laughs> because um, it says here, at the beginning of your upkeep, well, maybe you should read, you can read the bottom, you can read it anyways. Uh, at the beginning of your up upkeep, if you, there are 100 or more tower counters on Helix Pinnacle, you win the game. So I plan on using that in uh, maybe an EDH deck, <laughs> an LFDH, or I'm going to throw it in my, like, uh, regular green deck, because it's interesting, because I'm bored sometimes, and plus, sometimes I have, like, Mana that I don't, I can't spend on anything except like okay next turn yours, I've already spent all mana and stuff. So that might be something I want to do with that. Next one I got is Slight of Mind, which is interesting. I think it was from Revised. He said yes, it was from Revised. And uh, b basically the long text says you change one word. Like if this card says okay, uh, target red spell, you can change that. Say oh no no no, change one word in that. I'll change it to maybe black, because I, I don't like black. Maybe counter target black spell now, instead of target red spell. So that's what it does. I'm sorry, is that, that's what it does. And next what I got is Titanic Ultimatum, which is really fun, because I want to do a, like, a rainbow deck, so this is rainbowy. Yeah. Another one would be Night of Alara, because it's rainbowy again. Each target, uh, each other non- other multicolor creature gets one plus one for each of its colors, so yeah. Oh, and this one is interesting because it's interesting, and I want to throw in the rainbow. To, I just want the rainbow to be like a massive stuff. So I got the Misform Ultimus, which is kind of like the first ever kind of changeling thingamajig going on there. Let's see Misform, yeah, for a while. So, but yeah, it's it's really interesting because it's like the first kind of uh, eh, changeling, but. It doesn't say change. It's not exactly a changeling, which is really interesting. Uh, and I got a Frost Titan because I need those in my deck. And Vernal Bloom because fun. Green Ramp, hello. Uh, I might want to throw this in my EDH when I get that finish too because uh, I want to maybe throw Omnath in there just for fun. Because hey, look, all this meta. Look, giant creature. Hey, look, you're gonna die. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, and this is. This is just a staple of tribal deck I kind of, I just kind of want, cause, and I, I didn't, I kind of wanted just a regular one, but you had this one here, so I just took it anyways. Door of Destinies, oh my god. Door of Destinies, Door of Destinies, come away, choose a creature type. Whenever you play a spell of that type, put a charge counter on Door of Destinies. Creatures you control of that type, get one plus one for each charge counter on Door of Destinies. Tribal decks, shall fun. Nah. And 
waves of aggression, Rain Rui, and plus look, waves of aggression. Look at what it does. Just look at it. Nah. And one of the oaks. Foil, yay! One of the oaks is fun too. Look, seven plus seven. Nah. And of course everyone knows hey, this counter spell. This one's from Ice Age, which kinda wanted a cheaper one, but hey, I didn't want to do blue control -y, so I kinda wanna do that. It's fine. And then this is interesting because you don't really get many counter spells or greed other than of course um, avoid fate. So for me, I got a gutter roar spots. I actually never seen one before, like in real life until now. So yeah. And also because he was friendly enough he gave me free sleeves. So, like well he's resleeving it to different sleeves and he's like, Yeah, you didn't have those. I'm like, Oh really? Though some of them are broken, I don't haven't found a broken one yet, but that's uh, that's okay still because it works out because I got free stuff, you know, free stuff's nice. Free stuff's very nice. And, uh, oh, yeah, and the pack that my friend opened, he gave me a few things, too, because I was like, yeah, you, you might want this, because, uh, it's good. Vo Voyaging sa Satire? 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 I don't know. I don't really know that. Eh. I don't know pronunciation, because I'm confused. One, it's Percy Jackson, I don't remember that pronunciation. I don't remember any pronunciation from him told me. I don't really know. Um, Untap Target Land, that's pretty good, because it's Target Land. Any land! Yeah, yeah! Rainbow! Uh, this one is good for my, uh, well, I'm planning to do at least a green-red, uh, green-red aggro, so uh, that's going to help a bit, because, you know, we'll get that little bit of mana, and then, see, ooh, <laughs> this is fun, too, the, uh, car, car, caramateras, caramatras, acolyte. Look at that. So if I have a bunch of creatures with just green mana symbols, Guess what I'm getting? Lots of green mana symbols into my mana pool. Yes. And it, because it's very green again, I got Temple of Aban t t Temple of Abandon. Temple of Abandon. And because I thought it was really cute, I was like, Hey, look! It's a cute little Fire Fang Goliath! Yay! Fire Fang Goliath! Yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. And my friend's like, Oh, hey. Hey, have a foil one. I'm like, Yeah, foil one! <laughs> um, and the uh, two other cards I got here. Uh, let's see. Got Opaline Unicorn because it's a unicorn and it produces mana. So maybe you can throw in a rainbow there. Maybe. Mm -hmm. No, no. It's rainbow and it's a unicorn. Mm -hmm. Artifact Unicorn. And it got the Artifact Elk. Uh, elk. Elk. So your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them in your library. So then put them in the library. Oh, wait. Sacrifice. Yeah, so your library. Put them in the library. Tapped. Then I show your library. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. And, oh, yeah, the reason why I'm trying to, uh, I was actually planning to do green red, which may have got a response for there, green red uh, deck is because of. Uh, so, first day of. Uh, they asked my friend, does he buy some uh, packs? I didn't get them, but I got my little dish guy! Yeah, yeah! So, yeah, it's fun because he's a place while he's green and red, and it's very, very aggro because the combination of green red with just your number of creatures you control. So. Large aggro deck, lots of creatures on the field. Hmm. I wonder how much mana I can get from that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And then green set. So it's here. Oh, it's a tier. <gasps> right. And they make more. And they get even more mana. Hmm. Yeah. And of course, they have XL Tap 7 cards in the library. You may be able to move cards among them in the battlefield. Eh, it's not the best. But I still like the lot of mana and lots of creatures I can just put on a green red set here. So, yeah. That's kind of what I want them now. Yeah. Don't know what else to tell you. Maybe a little update about my gaming channel because I do have something up, but maybe I'll make a separate video for it. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, wait, forgot. Jinglies. Right. You did the Jinglies? Yeah, the Jinglies. Uh, so, uh, pre release, of course, it's, you know about my pre release. I went to the pre release of the Gathering. Um, uh, well, no, I Mother Gathering Return of Ravnica, I believe. Yes, Return of Ravnica. So, I got the Guild and I went with the uh, Solaire here. And this is not only my regular one, yeah, yeah. And then today they were getting out free ones. I'm like, yeah, free ones. But I didn't, feel, I didn't want to feel like a dick, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give you two dollars for the other seven that I don't have. So I want a collection. Yes, yeah, so they don't have the other seven. They don't have two. It was the Azores and the Demir, which I don't know why. Well, I'm sure that I'm guessing it's quite popular then because they didn't have it in that little bowl they had. So. I was like, I don't feel like being a dick, so I'm gonna just give you two dollars anyway. He's like, he's like, no, just take like, take it, my money. So yeah. Anyways, next we have the grill over here. You see him over here, and then we have the Golgari right here, and then we have the Z right here, and then we have the Boros over here, and then we have the Zerak, right mm, yes, and then we got the. 
And then we have the old doors open and we have the old rectos. Yes, yeah, right here. And I want to wear this around now because it's very clickety. Yeah, I like how they have that tension, you know? Showing off my nerdiness. That's that's a good plan, isn't it? Yes. Anyways, uh, that should be the end of the video. I will make a separate video for my gaming channel when I get, you know, steps up. Uh, I do have it up, but then I don't have a video yet, but then by the time I'm sure I make that video, I'm sure and I'll have something up there. So, look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Here we go.